Okay, so now that we have methods, let's talk a little bit about parameters. Um, essentially, a parameter is a variable declaration you put between the parentheses here, and that's why we have the parentheses. So I can say string name, or uh, let's do my name, string your name. And then down here, let's make this more interesting. I can say console write line, uh, hello, plus my name. And when you have a string here with a plus sign and then another string, it simply makes it one string. So I should probably show that in a separate thing. But um, hello, blank, uh, or not my name. Let's do hello, your name. Um, my name is plus my name. Uh, plus, let's throw a period here just to make it look good. So now I can say, um, and instead of saying a method, because a method is kind of a lame name, let's call it say hello instead, because that's what this method is doing. Your methods uh, should have names that are verbs. So just remember that, because methods do things, they're actions. Uh, they should maintain names that are verbs. So going down here, let's delete all this, and I'm going to say say hello, and let's say Jamie. Um, my name is Jamie, and let's say I want to say hello to Eric. Uh, and, and so we run this, F11, um, F11, F11. So notice here that I typed parenthesis Jamie parenthesis uh, for the first, these are called uh, arguments. And so notice that say hello, it takes, it has two parameters, thus I got to send two arguments to the method. You'll notice here I have the second argument, basically the values you send into a method. So uh, the quote Jamie, Jamie quote is a value. So we call them arguments or the things we're sending to the method. And same thing with Eric here with the quotes. So when um, I hit F11 here, execution will jump up to this curly like we saw before. But now, uh, my name and your name will take the values that I'm passing in here. You can think of it like Jamie is the football I'm passing for my name, and Eric is the football I'm passing for your name. So the method pretty much literally catches it. Notice my name here is Jamie, your name is Eric. I come in here, and then hello with a plus, and anyway, it, print it prints the um, full string, hello, your name. Uh, let's just see if I can get the output here. So hello, Eric, my name is Jamie. So going back here, notice we've hit the closing curly brace, so F11 takes us back to where we called it from, F11, and the program is done executing. So this is handy because now I have this set line of code here that does one thing for me, and all I have to do is change the parameters if I want to uh, make it say something different. So hello, um, I don't know. Uh, Oh, I need a name. Let's put uh, Rebecca here, or Rebecca Archer, and uh, let's put Bob here. So now I F11 and come in and say hello, which again jumps over here to this opening curly brace. My name is Jamie. Your name is Eric, because I passed Jamie and Eric in. Uh, I print that out to the console, and we return back. Um, and then again, we jump to the next one. I say hello with Rebecca and Bob. So the first argument, again the term is argument, uh, is Rebecca. The second argument is Bob uh, and, they, and the parameters here take those values. So F11, uh, my name is Rebecca, your name is Bob. So and I can console right line that and out it goes. So bringing up the output here uh, hello Eric, my name is Jamie. Hello Bob, my name is Rebecca. Uh, so that is parameters in parameters and arguments in a nutshell. Uh, parameters and arguments, um, they don't have to be strings. We could have used ints like I showed in the previous video and passed numbers in, or floats, or bools, or whatever you want it to be.